My name's Nick Mallion. I run Red Hills Durham Minus Hall, which is a charity that looks after the heritage and the historic hall of the Durham Miners Association on behalf of all of the people of the Durham Coalfield. So I'm somebody who comes from County Durham and I've always worked in the arts and heritage sector and in particular I've always worked at the intersection between grassroots cultural organising and the sort of strategic outcomes frameworks that, that allow you know, the resources to be put together. So at Red Hills, what that's meant is I've come from a background of pop-ups, meanwhile spaces, art in empty shops, cultural venues, to something incredible, which is a grade two listed Pittman's Parliament um, that was paid for with pennies and sixpences of, of working miners from across the coal field. Um, I've worked on lots of festivals and events, and I've also um, worked in a number of theatres over the years as well. So. Um, so I come with quite a broad skill set, but in particular for me it's about that sort of place-based, community-focused cultural regeneration. So Ensemble 84 is a new company that we're building that will be from County Durham, look like County Durham, but take the work out across the world to showcase the talents that we have of the young people um, from the area. So Ensemble 84 has come from the work of the Asango Ensemble Collective, in Cape Town in South Africa um, but what it will do is it will take all of the experience all of the learning and the incredible talent of the team involved there and allow us to learn from it in Durham and build our own equivalent. So what it will offer people in from County Durham in very real terms is an opportunity to get involved, an opportunity to, to try out and, and join the ensemble if you're somebody who can sing, who can act, who can perform and wants to pursue a career in the arts but also if you're not necessarily interested in being on the stage you can get involved behind the stage because we'll also be building the skills that we need to be able to make sure that you know whether it's technical whether it's production whether it's promotions and, and everything that goes into touring a play all of that will have to come from this place um, and more broadly it's something that I think raises the aspirations and sets an agenda of a real ambition and hope for County Durham that says our voices need to be heard on global stages um, so everybody in County Durham, I think, will be able to take pride in the work of Ensemble 84. In the first instance, the best thing to do is to check out the, the Ensemble 84 website and social media channels. That's where you'll be able to find out everything that's going on. You'll be able to get introductions to people like Mark Dornford May, who's the artistic director, Sud Basu, who's the producer, and some of the team from Red Hills who are going to be supporting this work. Another opportunity will be at the point where we go out to recruit for the ensemble. Um, we'll use this year's Durham Miners Gala to say this is an opportunity where we want to see all of County Durham given, given a chance to, uh, to try out and see themselves potentially as a cast member who's going to build this company with us.